In this video, I'll show you how to add and subtract metric units of measurement. And uh, with this adding or subtraction, we're going to use a three step metric conversion that I have shown you in a previous video. So let's take a look at one of the calculations. For example, how do we add two millimeters plus seven centimeters together? But two millimeters is this little and seven centimeters is about this long. So how do we add the two together? It's, it's going to be about this long, finally. But uh, this long in terms of what? I need a final unit of measurement to express the length of that line. So there's two rules, or not rules, two steps to uh, do these kind of... Uh, number operations with uh, when you have units of different different units of measurement here are these two steps so to add or subtract the I'll just zoom in a little bit the units of measurement must be the same so you can't meaningfully add millimeters and centimeters as is and uh, once you added them together you're gonna have to convert the result to the requested units of measurement. So uh, in this one we don't have a requested unit of measurement but how about uh, meters? So add two millimeters plus seven centimeters well how many meters is that? So these are the given units of measurements and that's the requested unit of measurement and we're going to need to convert twice. First conversion uh, well, we either convert these two millimeters into centimeters or these seven centimeters into millimeters. Either way, uh, two millimeters plus, now we need seven centimeters worked out into millimeters. And for that, I have a three step procedure that I use or have invented on the fateful 4th of January here, uh, 2013, just about 2 p.m. And this is how this procedure works. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Here is a refresher that in the metric system of measurement measurements, you have consistently uh, a base unit of measurement, for example, for length or for capacity. For the base unit of length is meters, and the base unit of capacity is liters. And uh, other amounts are all tenfold the base unit or tenth of a base unit. So we have decameters, hectoliters and hectometers. Whether hectometers are used or not is not the subject issue here. And of course there is not to so many hectometers but hectoliters I guess uh, kegs, uh, capacity of kegs are uh, measured in hectoliters. And Kilometers are uh, most of us are familiar with. Uh, kiloliters uh, doesn't really isn't really used. Same way, uh, decameters and decaliters are not used, but they do exist at least in uh, theory. And it's important how uh, to make uh, metric conversion work. And of course, we have the familiar decimeters, centimeters, and milliliters deciliters, centiliters and milliliters also for measuring out small amounts and uh, drinks whatever in bars and this is how the elevator ride works a refresher from the previous title these are the levels uh, zero F level, this is ground level uh, first level above ground level, second and third and first level below ground, second, third those are down in the parkade and uh, these are just uh, stories above ground level and when we ride down on the elevator we move the decimal dot to the right and add necessary uh, and add zeros as needed and when we take a ride up on the elevator we move the decimal dot to the left and add the zeros in the process as needed and uh, these are the three steps we're gonna count the levels of ride we're gonna copy the given amount into the answer and then we'll place the decimal dot as needed according to levels of right. So going back to the original problem, seven centimeters is how many millimeters? Now we copy the answer 
uh, the same amount there. And from centimeters to millimeters, how many levels is that? Now here is centimeters. We're converting it to millimeters. So we went down one, down one. So we're going to move the decimal dot one spot to the right. Well, seven is the same as 7.0. So uh, 7.0, that means a decimal dot is there in the first place and then that's where it's going to end up, one spot to the right. The answer is 70.0 millimeters. So we have 2 millimeters plus 70 millimeters and that's 72 millimeters. But we still haven't worked out how many meters these are, we still don't have a final answer, but at least we added the 2 millimeters and the 7 centimeters meaningfully. Now we need one more conversion from millimeters to meters. Let's go back to the conversion page. Now we're going from millimeters to meters, and that's one, two, three jumps. Three levels, we're going up on the elevator. So we copy the 72 here and because we went up go back to the other page we went up we're going to be moving the decimal dot to the left so 72 please remember is the same as 72.0 so the decimal dot starts there and that's one two three level three uh, places there and then we add zeros as needed so the final answer is 2 millimeters plus 7 centimeters equals 0 0.072 meters. So that's how this works. And uh, one more for subtracting. How about, uh, say, 2 hectoliters is in a keg, and somebody took away from it, uh, I don't know, 18 centiliters was poured out of it and I need an answer in milliliters and there we have to convert twice again uh, first off we're gonna need to make out of these two hectoliters centiliters and to do that the hectoliters can be found there and the centiliters are found there and we're going for a ride worn two, three, four levels down. Four levels down, so we're moving the decimal dot that way, four spots. I'm gonna copy the original amount there. Now two hectoliters is 2.0. And we're going one, two, three, four places. That's where the decimal dot ends up. And there, I filled it with zeros accordingly. So 2 hectoliters is 20,000 centiliters minus 18 centiliters equals so many milliliters. 20,000 centiliters minus 18 is approximately 19,900. And let me see, if that was 20, this would be 80, but it's 82 because that's only 18. 19,982 centiliters needs to be converted into milliliters. Now going back to the conversion page, we're going from centiliters to milliliters and it's down one level, so we're moving the decimal to one place to the right. I'm going to copy the significant digits here and the decimal dot starts here and we're moving it one unit here and add necessary zeros. So the final answer is 2 hectoliters minus 18 centiliters is 199,820 milliliters. That's how to add and subtract metric units of measurement.